Hello everybody. Uh, this is a quick video just sort of outlining our system for how and when we keep ducks inside and outside and how and when we keep food inside and outside. So um, we have this pretty generous sized coop here uh, and we also have a generous sized run. So if those are limitations, I apologize. Um, but potentially you can follow some of our patterns here. Uh, but essentially what we do is uh, every morning the ducks are already in the coop. Uh, we lock them up with a, a carabiner so that they're completely safe. Um, they have their food and their water together inside their cage. And in the morning we let them out into the run and then we close the cage back up. So what that does is essentially it keeps the food and the water safe from rodents or large rodents and uh, squirrels. Um, I might as well show you how the food and water are set up. Right now they're both kind of on the empty side, but um, don't worry, those are wooden eggs, but uh, the food setup seems to be working really nicely at keeping the food dry um, and keeping the poop out. Uh, oh God, if you can see that, that's some uh, um, you know spray painting by one of the ducks. Um, this is probably about six to eight inches off the ground, food grade, um, food container. And we also poured a little bit of concrete in the bottom and let it set so there's a really good weight to it so it doesn't tip around. And then we just put fresh food in every night when we let them back in. Uh, the water is really similar. We have ours hooked up to a rain barrel that we can just sort of run into it and then every few days we refresh it. But these will just stay in the run. And then they have a pool... Um, at the other end of the run, but you could easily just put another one of these water buckets in the run as well. Um, and so what we've seen is uh, with a run like this, they have a couple places where they can s seek shelter, um, a little house or two, and then a few young trees that are sort of doing that job. Um, you can see it definitely provides shade, but uh, the shelter bit is also important for hawks, which we have a couple of, but um, have not yet had an attack, thank goodness. And uh, we have had an attack from night predators, so raccoons, foxes, coyotes. We were not actually sure what it was. But by locking the ducks in uh, every night at basically nighttime or within an hour of uh, sunset, um, they're safe from those predators. And um, going without food for the day, or without proper food, um, hasn't seemed to be an issue. They have it. Basically, they have access to it um, earlier in the morning and at the at night, so uh, they get a chance to eat pretty frequently through a 24-hour cycle. And I think that's pretty much all I had to say, but just sort of like that out in the daytime and in the nighttime pattern. If we leave town, um, we built this with the intention of it being big enough for the ducks to sort of just uh, be able to stay in if they need to. Um, we also have sort of... Oh, it's hard to see through the sun but um, there's like a little walkway that they can then stand on top of the the house that they've gotten there and then once we built this thing I found an old piece of uh, like fencing that I just sort of put on top of it to to shade and and shelter we get hail sometimes so it's nice for them to have a safe ish spot also cuts down on the snow shoveling when that happens um, but yeah if you have any questions uh, feel free to let me know you might have seen over here, we have a mama and some babies that we section off with this green fencing and uh, some fencing staples like the long um, metal staples that you can get at a garden center uh, and some bamboo to keep it up. And so that really helps when we're trying to either get young ones situated with already existing flock or if we need to separate them for any other reason. Um, we can do that in our setup. So hopefully some of these details can apply to you. I understand that every situation is different and you have your own limitations, but uh, hopefully this helps.